Hello everyone. In today's video, we are figuring out how to calculate hours worked when the shift goes past midnight, something that's common in various industries. We have covered standard hours in our previous tutorial. If you haven't watched it, the link is in the description box below. But now, let's handle those late night shifts that roll into the next day with a simple Excel formula. Ready to get this sorted? Let's dive in. On our spreadsheet, we have calculated the total hours worked for standard shifts. But as you can see, things get tricky when the shift spans past midnight. Take a look at Omar Alexander's entry. He started work at 8 p.m. and finished at 6 a.m. the next day. Instead of showing the correct hours worked, the cell displays a series of hash marks. This happens because Excel treats the end time as earlier than the start time. To fix this, we will use the IF function. First up, let's clear out any hash marks in Omar's total hours. Simply click on the cell and type in the equal sign to begin our formula. Because really, those hash marks should be reserved for horror movies, not your timesheets. To start using the if function, type i and double click on if from the options that pop up. As you can see for the function to work, first we need to enter the logical test. Next, we tell Excel what value to work with if the condition entered is true. Following that, we need the value Excel should consider if the result of the logical test is false. After typing if, input the condition. The start work time in cell B5 is greater than end work time in cell C5, which happens when shifts spend midnight. Add a comma to proceed. Next. We set the value Excel calculates if the condition is true. If the condition is true, we indicate that the shift ended the following day. To do this, click on the cell containing the end work time and add plus 1, signifying that the time extends into the next day. Add another comma to continue. Next. Input the value Excel should use if the condition is false, which tells Excel that the end work time is on the same day. Simply click on cell C5 and Excel will use the time as it's entered. This condition would be false for instance for Emma because the end work time is not greater than the start work time. The formula we are creating will cover all scenarios whether the hours worked end on the same day or spend past midnight. We will test this together in a bit to ensure it works correctly. For now, let's finish setting up the formula. Close the bracket to complete it. Excel will now operate based on the following logic. If the value in cell B5 is greater than the value in cell C5, then the end work time in C5 is considered to be on the next day. If this isn't the case, the end work time is assumed to be on the same day. And Excel will use the time exactly as entered. Next, simply subtract the start work time. Place the minus sign, click on cell B5 and hit enter. And that's it. You will see the calculated time like Omar's 10 hours is now displayed accurately. This formula works for shifts that end both past midnight and within the same day. Let's check its effectiveness. Drag the formula from cell D5 across all employee names. Notice how the formula applies consistently to all cells and the calculated times remain correct. 
we will explore how to calculate total hours worked and discuss common errors related to it in our follow-up tutorial. Stay tuned. And that's how you set up an Excel formula to accurately calculate hours worked for those tricky overnight shifts. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or suggestions for topics you want me to cover, please drop a comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.